glad to uh, know that this entire live program tonight is being telecast and we hope that it'll get all across the country and everybody will see uh, just what happens in a happy goodman concert an evening with a happy goodman and so we just kind of going to do our thing as everybody said just sing you know and shout if we feel like it and we want to run we'll take off run and move over and let me have room you know, I, know when you're gonna run that's yeah right. just, <laughs> Sam said, let him know where he can move out of the way. <laughs> All right. I want you to listen tonight now to, I think, a great lady, because you know, I, I guess I might be just a little bit prejudiced. I don't know if I am or not, but I, well, you can take it that way if you want to. But somehow or another, I love her singing, and I just naturally love her. And I want you to listen as everybody loves Sister Vestal, and they like to hear her sing. This is just what heaven means to me. Oh, 
the stars The rain or the sunshine Rusty don't write a whole lot of songs. Brother Rusty only writes when the Spirit of God moves on him. And when the Holy Spirit moves on him, he just begins to write down what the Holy Spirit begins to tell him. And it always turns out great. That's right. I want him to do his brand new song for you. Listen, he does for you. How much more? Brother Rusty.
if he speaks just a word to call the name service one night and I says to my wife I said I want you to read some passages of scripture for me and she took the word of God and began to read and it became alive to me the Bible says that if he cares for the lilies of the field that Solomon all of his glory were not arrayed as these then how much more does he love his own creation the Bible says that he made man in his own image and in his likeness and you might feel dejected tonight there might be somebody here that's got a lot of troubles. You may have a lot of problems in your life. This was the occasion a few months ago when we were in Fort Worth, Texas. A young lady came to Sister Vestal and I and said, there's problems in our home. I want you to pray with us. And so, Vestal, remember the night that you and I took this young lady's hand and we agreed. We had prayer. And she was really disturbed. There was trouble in the home. She felt like that nobody loved her and that she had been forsaken. But, you know, I've got a report tonight that things are just beautiful that God has answered prayer Hallelujah. and that's just like Jesus that's how much he loves his children <laughs> he said if we will call on him then he will answer our prayers and the only thing that we have to do is to live up to the contract that's all we have to do all we have to do is to believe and trust him if you're a born-again child of God and you ask something of your Heavenly Father and if you've lived up to the contract and you've been true to him then he has to make it right for you you see that's that's just the Word of God he is pledged to that and you might feel like that nobody cares anything about you you might feel like that the whole world has kind of crumbled in on top of you. That nobody loves you. Oh, but there is one. There is one that loves you. If you'll take out the time to turn a desert from its dry. And he'll carve out a another place that he can swim oh how much more could he love you
been I've been told oh, yeah. oh I believe that it's true He's preparing me a place that I cannot comprehend how much more to get out here. Howard, who are you? You've been standing back behind the stage. You've been, he'll walk over on this side. He's been resting. I caught him laying down over here one time. <laughs> I want him to get out here and sing. And there was a man asked me tonight, Brother Howard. He said, will y'all sing an old quartet type song? And I said, like what? He said, like where you got all different parts. And I said, you mean like the sweetest song I know? He said, that's the one I want to hear. Good. So we're going to sing the sweetest song I know.
people wanted to know if Johnny can sing higher than Vester. Uh-oh. You've got one guy back there that believes you can, John. Now, it was his mother, right? Or brother. I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to have our own tennis match between the, uh, you know, the male and the female, but only they're going to sing tenor. They're going to see who can sing the highest. I tell you what we're going to do. Give me a drum roll there, uh, son. Got a, got a, give me a drum roll. Drum roll. You got any drum rolls left? All right. In, <laughs> in this corner, weighing 135 pounds. Whoa! Our Bobby Riggs tenor singer, Johnny Cook. Give him a hand. Yes, sir. In this corner. You ain't brave enough. <laughs> Weighing. We're going to sing an old song. And look, best of all. If it gets, if it's not high enough for you, turn around to Ed here and the and the fellers, and tell them to raise it up. Johnny, if you don't think it's high enough, son, Likewise, you just get him. I got a white flag you can wave anytime you want. <laughs> and the one that throws in the towel, the white flag first, is the loser. Is that fair enough? Yeah. On an old song called "Looking for a City."
Michael show off from Tennessee. <laughs> we want you to meet somebody that's brand new. I think we had him with us the last time we was out this way. Is that Howard? No, it ain't Howard. It ain't Howard yet. I'll, I'll introduce him anyhow. This is old Howard. Are you glad to see Brother Howard? Make him well. What about a big hand for old Lighthouse himself? Brother Rusty, are you glad to see that? Let's don't go any further. What's the matter? I ain't told them who I was. <laughs> Are you glad to see me? I'm with them. Yeah. I'm their brother and my name is Sam. Yeah. I'd like for you to meet someone tonight that is one of the most fantastic talents you want us to leave. that you'll hear. You can leave, Rusty, if you wish. Just go that way. And Vestal, you can go that way. And I'm out here all along. How many of you people don't live here in town? You live out of town. Let's see your hand. We'd been better off to have this thing out of town, wouldn't we? Man, there ain't nobody from here, is it? But it's good to be from someplace. And just think, if you wasn't from someplace, you wouldn't be here. And we're glad to have you. We're glad you're here. I started to tell you about a little fellow we want you to meet. The last time we were out this way, he won, I guess, more friends than any new talent in gospel music in a long time. He has the most fantastic tenor voice that you'll ever hear. And I want you to know we're proud of him. We like to feel like that we have a hand in him being in gospel music. He's going to do a song, and the title of the song is I Was Nothing. You've never heard the song. Possibly it's brand new. But I want you to welcome to this stage a new member of our big Happy Goodman family. From Bradford, Tennessee, I want you to give a great big welcome to the beautiful tenor voice of Johnny Cook. Make him welcome, will you? Come on, John. As I traveled alone down life's rugged way, I thought I was fine in my own selfish way.
are so rich in their silver and gold. They have worldly wealth, oh, such a sight to behold. But with all of these things and Till he lives with it. I was nothing, no, no, nothing until my Jesus came in. I was nothing, no, no, nothing until he cleansed me. son, I'd like you to stand out here with me, and I'm going to call Brother Rusty out. We're fixing to do a new song. You ain't never heard it. Now, I could say isn't heard it, but that wouldn't be right either. <laughs> so all I can do is just say ain't. So you ain't heard it. And I could say you aren't heard it, but that wouldn't have been right either. So I'm just going to say ain't. Now, and Brother Rusty, you know, we're kind of funny people. When we feel a song, that's when we can sing. When we sing a song that somebody else can feel, then we know we're blessing somebody. And Brother Rusty had a man to come in the studio not long ago and recorded an album. And he and I were sitting in the control room one day just listening to it. He said, Sam, i got to sing that song. I've got to record that song. That's the same way he felt about Lighthouse. That's the same way he felt about He Pilots My Ship. And I want you to know, Brother Rusty, somebody has done wrote Brother Rusty another song. <laughs> and he evermore can sing it. While Johnny's out here. Rusty, you're doing a good job. What are you doing over there? I'm just smiling. You're man. smiling, huh? Just well, showing them pearlies. Well, keep that grin on, son, and sing this song. <laughs> You've often wondered about the crucifixion, and you hear preachers say, he's crucified daily. We crucify him anew. This young man took that thought, and he wrote a song. And it deals with you, and you, and me, and you, about how that we crucify. I want you to listen to Brother Rusty sing it. He evermore does a good job. The title of the song is, I Saw the Man. So cruel to hang my Lord upon a rugged tree. But then I chanced to pass an old looking glass. And there I saw the man staring back at me. The nails in him I saw the man That crucified the Lord If you should ever wonder About the sacrifice he made 
see your hands that drove the nails in hell. You'll see the man that crucified the Lord. Up on that man that crucified the Lord. If you should ever wonder about the sacrifice that he made, about the pain and the suffering he went through, but if you would chance to pass some old looking glass, won't that be some reflection? That drove the nails in him You'll see the man That crucified the Lord Up on that man That crucified the Lord How about it for Brother Rusty And a brand new song I have watched my mama work hard all day long. I've watched her wash clothes down at a creek for eight kids, four boys and four girls. Aaron's mom and daddy were just about like ours. They didn't have anything. And his mama worked hard to see that the kids would have clothes to wear and shoes to go on their feet. But she managed to save enough out of her money from picking the cotton down in Alabama that she bought him his first guitar. And I can imagine that would have been the most glorious moment for a young man to know that a mama would have that much love. I want him to sing this song especially for you. Not just to his mama, but to all of you mamas out there. Listen to Aaron sing for you, picking.
she bought me a guitar and she was so proud to bring it home she went without shoes that year but she never said so sing a song that it's an old tune but everybody seems to enjoy brother howard singing won't it be wonderful there come on let's sing <laughs> Wonder 
change coats. They said, man, we got to do some more of that television work and you'd look better if you change clothes. Well, I got my coat. That's as far as I got. <laughs> it's going to go all right with these blue britches, ain't it? Man, it looks like somebody else could have took this. 
Come here, Rusty. <laughs> you just walked out here and you said you would take it, but I don't think you knew that the next song was going to be Lighthouse, did you? No, I didn't. But that's what it is. Brother Rusty, going to sing for you Lighthouse. <laughs> song that Sister Vestal, can as the old saying is, get her teeth into it and sing it. There's a current thing fixing to take place that should make everybody want to sing. And we've laughed about the UFOs. Yeah. And you've been reading what's been happening in the foreign countries Man. in the Mideast. That's not just to happen so. Amen. You know what's really fixing to happen? Amen. King Jesus is coming back after us. Oh, 
You talking about a UFO? Them that don't have their heart right with God, they're going to think that's the worst UFO situation they've ever been in. But he's coming again, just exactly like he said he would. Oh, I don't know whether I want to sing or not. I think I'll take an offering. <laughs> the best to say. Brand new. We all go to heaven. He's coming again.
Oh, hallelujah. Won't it be a glorious Daddy, time? let me sing it again. Now I'd like to be here. Oh, yeah. To see my Lord descending. Sing it. And you know, I got a feeling I will be. Oh, man. Man. Everywhere I look, I get the feeling I'm going to be right here. When he steps out on the cloud and tells the church to meet him, then I'm gone. And with the splendors of heaven, he's going to welcome me. He's coming again. He's coming again. And change in a moment like him we shall be. sing a song that always means much to the happy Goodmans. It's over 60 years old. And I want you to listen as we sing. I'll meet you in the morning just inside the East Indian. Just inside. 